Rose, William speaking. Oh, uh, hi, Mr. Afton. Sorry to call you this early. It's Samantha, Michael's girlfriend. Uh, is he awake? <laughs> I doubt it. Yesterday was his first time working the night shift. He's still adjusting to it, to say the least. Michael! Wake up! Your girlfriend's on the phone. Mike never told me he got a job. <laughs> That's not surprising. He's barely left his room all week, let alone used the phone. With any luck, actually having a job will whip him into shape. Where's he working? Sam! Hey! Hi! Uh, uh, what's up? <laughs> Morning, sleepyhead. I didn't wake you up, did I? <sighs> I had a long night. So I've heard. <laughs> Listen, Mike. I wanted to apologize for the other day. I still don't know if I can accept everything you said, and you aren't getting me anywhere near Freddy's, but... That's no excuse for me to react the way I did. I don't want this to form a wedge in our relationship. I'm... I'm sorry. I... I guess I shouldn't have come down on you as hard as I did. I'm, I'm sorry, too. I love you, Mike. Love you, too, babe. <sighs> <laughs> so what's this I hear about you working the night shift? You never told me you got a job. You told me not to call you. Well, that was then, and this is now. I think it's great that you got a job. Where are you working at? What are your hours? Um... Don't you up me. I want to come over and surprise you at work. You know, if you're working the night shift all by yourself, I don't think anyone would notice if it's I... It's at Freddy's. I, uh, got a job as a nighttime security guard at Freddy's. You still there, Sam? Hmm? Oh, yeah, uh, I'm here. Uh... I take it this was your dad's idea to get the job? No, uh, he helped me with the application process, but this was my idea. Oh, I get it. This is, like, therapeutic for you, right? By confronting your fears and guilt head-on, you hope they'll go away? Something like that. Um, can I talk to you about it for a sec? Sure. And do you promise to believe me? I'll do my best. Something is wrong with the animatronics. Seriously wrong. Not only were they moving around at night, but they even tried to get into my office and attack me. I have a huge cut on my leg from it. I called the assistant manager as soon as my shift ended, and he told me this was the first time he'd ever heard about something like this happening. He didn't even seem that interested in it either. It was like he treated it like I found a weird bug in the bathroom or something. Am I making sense so far? Yeah, I guess. Those things move around during the day, right? I... I guess it makes sense they'd move around at night. But I can't even begin to imagine why they'd attack you. I don't like it. I don't like any of this. Call me crazy, but I think this has something to do with those hallucinations I had of Evan last week. Whatever's going on with the animatronics, it's absolutely more than whatever technical jargon my dad's gonna spout at me when I ask him about it. You've been saying for years that there's some kind of child trafficking ring set up at the restaurant, right? Yeah, and I still think that. I think it's bigger than that. And I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. If the animatronics attacked you last night, then is it really safe for you to keep working the night shift? Well, that's the thing. My assistant manager moved me to the day shift after I called him about it. Meaning that I have to be work at... Uh, an hour... Be careful on the day shift, okay? People picked on you enough for being manslaughter Mike in high school. I don't see any of the actual employees at Freddy's being any better. I'm pretty sure more people know me there as Afton Jr., if anything. <laughs> you should show your co-workers your keychain. My keychain? Yes, you know, the one with that friendship bracelet your brother made for you on it. Charlie made me the bracelet, not Evan. She was the daughter of one of my dad's friends. She was the girl who... Never mind. I just kept the bracelet on my keychain because I thought it was funny she spelled my name wrong. <laughs> it's cute. You're a real softy, you know that, Mike? No, really. She spelled my name with a Q. In what world do you spell Michael with a Q? Maybe I should start spelling it with a Q. Hardy har. I'll start spelling your name with an X if you... Do you plan on going to the day shift in your pajamas, Michael?
No father. I'll go and get dressed. Oh, uh, sorry for keeping you. You go get ready. And stay safe there, okay? Uh, were you still planning on visiting me at work? Why don't you stop at my place after your shift and we watch reruns of The Immortal and the Restless instead? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Well, I'll see you later. See ya. Bye.